So I recently got a comment on my video about creativity dying because creativity is part of the expression of self and that gives you a final product. But eventually everything will have really been done. There's very little opportunity to make something new that hasn't been done. But someone left a comment that opened my eyes to something that I didn't really consider, a possibility that's out there. And that is you can create it just for the purpose of self-expression, just to get something out of your system on your own and not necessarily for anybody else. I suppose that is true, it's just that that does take away a lot of the motivation for people to do anything. I mean, you gotta think about it, when people m write music, for example, they expect a lot of people to listen to it, or maybe even buy it on iTunes. When someone paints a picture, they expect a lot of people to appreciate it, and maybe buy a copy. If they write a book, they expect people to read it, anything. If they do something, a lot of people expect people to absorb the medium. But I guess it's not necessarily important. I guess we should ask ourselves, if we do create anything in our lives at all, we should be able to sit back and just appreciate it for what it is, and maybe two or three other people appreciate it for what it is, and then just move on with our lives? Or should we say that we need more than that? Should we say that we should progress and develop a wider audience and have more people absorb what we do? It's a question of what matters more, what you want to do or what the other people who are watching you do it want you to do. And it might seem obvious to say that it should be all about you, but once again, art is about reaching out to other people and connecting them and hopefully touching them in some way. A lot of the times that's a huge part of it, and self-expression is another big part. But if you put a lot of emphasis on just the self-expression, I guess that sort of gets rid of the problem because if it's all about you. But I don't know. I don't know if that really still leaves a reason. Like, just look at YouTube. 99% of people who make videos on YouTube do it because they know that they're going to get an audience, or they believe that they'll get an audience. You see so many new YouTube users who count down how many subscribers they have. Like, oh, 0.1k subs, 0.2k subs, and they'll just count it up like that because it matters to them that much. But there are people on YouTube who just care about creating their content. And I like to think that I'm one of them. I like to think that I'm one of the people who doesn't really care how wide their audience is and who just makes content because they feel like it's a proper self-expression. And maybe I'll reach a few people and that's cool, but, you know, it really does call that into question. I think that that is a suitable answer. It just begs the question how many people are still going to actually bother to do it. A lot of people wouldn't, but maybe that's for the best, because maybe the people who are doing it for the wrong reasons would stop, and the people who are doing it for the right reasons and are creating something beautiful in the world are the only ones who would keep advancing. So I guess it's a very positive way to view reality and self-expression and creation.